Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Nice to see you again. Discus. We're running low on numbers. Um, if you've watched this channel before, if you haven't, click that subscribe button. Make sure you don't miss any in the future. But you'll know that I had a bit of a problem with this tank. I lost, uh, I think, four fish in total. Um, I think to worms. Tank's fine now. Well, it's a bit overrun with algae and things like that. It's one of those jobs that you keep saying, I'll get to that next week. I have big plans for this tank, um, so I don't really want to do anything. So the tank is a bit algae overrun, but I need more fish in there. The fish that are in there at the moment, they're perfectly healthy, everyone's happy, but just not enough of them. So I'm going to see my discus specialist friend over at Corbin Discus. So I need to get a box packed, I need to get myself ready, and I need to get over there, and I'll take you with me. Our weapon of choice. No. Well, go on, you have a look and see what you think, and then I'll tell you what happened. I did pick one, but I can't remember which one it was now. I think it may have been that one in the back. This one in that tank is that fish, in my opinion. Which I'm not right always, I get that. That's such an odd shape, but. <coughs> Yeah. Oh, to be honest, there isn't a bad one in there, but there's a, there's a couple that are at the size where the it's the in, that small female there that really could be another quarter of an inch, half an inch on it to determine what, what shape it's, it's going to be. Yeah, I think that was the same one that I was looking at anyway. The one that's front here now. That one. Yeah, that one. Yeah, go on. 
that one there. Yeah. There you go, you saw me getting one fish there, I ended up getting two in the end. Um, I got the Super Blood Eagle that you just saw there, and a Bamboo Cobra. Let's just ignore the naming conventions of discus strains at the moment, that's a whole other video in itself. Um, but they were just two fish that I really liked to look at the strain. They had another new strain in there, these are Martin Ng, or NG, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Um, but these are his fish and he, Tim at Corbin Discus, had brought over some new strains uh, this time and another one of them was the Silver Tiger, I think it was called. They looked really nice. <sighs> I kind of hummed and hawed for a while but in the end I got these two. Um, so just to talk a little bit about, it's very subjective to say how to pick the best discus um, because beauty is in the eye of the beholder and all that. But what, there are some kind of general rules, you don't want to pick the fish that's hiding at the back or the one that's looking a bit ropey to start with, so you're always looking for an active fish. Um, it's always a good idea to ask the sailor if you can see the fish being fed. Um, when I was round at Corbin Discus there we got to feed a few tanks there and got to see them all really ravenous feeders, um, so that's always a good sign. Uh, if possible, see them coloured up. Um, Again, not always possible because sometimes fish don't like people in and out and gopping in at the tanks at them. Um, but other than that, shape is the thing that I'm looking for. I like a fat head. It's a, possibly a weird thing to say, but that's that's what I like in a fish. Um, and you're looking for avoiding anything that might be construed as stunted. And a good trick for that is to look at the eye size. So your eye, you want to see the eye and at least four other eye um, so if the eye measures one, you want to see four between the top of the eye and the top of the head um, because then you know that that fish is growing at the right rate and it's not got ahead of itself or got behind. Um, quite often you'll see a fish with a big eye and a little tiny gap there which means that it's been stunted. It's The eye has grown but the fish hasn't grown as much. Other than that, I'm really just looking for shape. Pattern, obviously, so you're picking the strain that you like, so I'd probably start there pick a fish that you like the look of. The next one down from that is shape. It's meant to be round, it's a discus, so avoid anything that's a bit rugby ballish. Um, and then as well as overall impression that you get that it's an active fish, it's a healthy fish. Your shape, your eye size, anything, any other traits that you like. I like a good fat head. Um, it sounds strange to be saying it, but that, anyway, that's just me. And then it's just dealer's choice after that. Obviously, if you've got a good breeder or specialist in your area, take their advice as well. And you'll see Tim there suggesting to me in that video that he thought one was slightly better than another one. Um, obviously, you'll get people that will just say that and to make the sale. But if you find a genuine person, um, that can only stand you in good stead. So that's me for now. We've got these two fish. They're going to be in quarantine for a little while. It'll probably be an accelerated version of my usual quarantining. Um, I like to use the sacrificial lamb method, um, but what I would generally do is have the fish in that tank on their own for a couple of weeks, add in one from existing stock, uh, have another couple of weeks in there. The first couple of weeks you're just looking for general health issues, making sure everything's okay, they're healthy, they're not um, listless, they're not suffering from any other kind of ailment. If you're happy with that, then introduce the current stock and then give it another couple of weeks to make sure that there are no cross-contamination type problems. And again, it's just, you're looking for general ill health there, and then treat accordingly if you get that. But I'm hoping that I won't have any of those issues because all my stock are going to be from the same place now. Uh, all my fish are Martin Ng fish. Um, so we should be good. Um, I know that Tim has been quarantining these fish, so I can probably skip that first week, um, or shorten it certainly. So we'll give it a few days down in the quarantine tank, and then add in something from my existing tank and just keep an eye on everything and I will no doubt update you in a future video so if you are interested in this sort of thing remember and click that subscribe link down in the description click the bell and make sure you never miss any new ones there'll be live streams coming up in the future as well as more videos so just leaves to say bye 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 bye
So, just like to say thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Cheers, bye bye. Thank you.